Hello, everyone, and viewers all around the world. Today, this is the Talk in Poncho's Palace, episode 13, Vehicles. And then most of you all know me as Poncho Blazing Nate Tim, Reverend Joseph James Holland, Poncho Holland, whatever you want to call me. Today's subject is going to be on the matter of vehicles. But before we get into vehicles today, I must just say that... It is a great day just to be alive and everything. So we are just blessed and we are happy today in the Talking Poncho's Palace. Now I want to thank everybody for tuning in in the Talking Poncho's Palace. Uh, we're going to be on a great subject today called vehicles. But just a matter of notes uh, before we get started. On December 1st, one way a Pentecostal church will be having a midday service at 11.15 or 11.30 a.m. in the morning at December 1st. So definitely tune in for that. As most of you all know, the NBA uh, season, basketball, is getting ready to start. So the NBA will be starting on December 22nd. And also, as most of you all know, our new uh, president in January will be Joe Biden. So he'll be the 46th president of the United States of America. And also just... Uh, Reminder, Alex Trebek's family, just remember Alex Trebek as he passed away at 80 years old, the legendary host of Jeopardy. But today's subject is going to be on a matter of vehicles. And when we think of vehicles, we think of cars, trucks, SUVs, buses, we think of all of that. Now, me, my personal favorite vehicle is a Nissan, a Nissan uh, car. I love Nissan cars, but anymore uh, with me being in a car, my legs are long, so I have to have a big vehicle. But I thank God for the Dodge uh, 2012 White Avenger that I got. Uh, it is dramatic, it is great, and it is drivable, and it gets me from point A to point B. So whatever vehicle that you have, it's very important to take care of your vehicle. Uh, the vehicles are just like uh, a Bible at times. Vehicles are just like your TV, just like your house. You have to check on your vehicle each and every single day, each and every single time. The main things you need to check on a vehicle, make sure you got gas in the vehicle for one. Make sure that you have uh, your keys. You gotta have keys in order to have a vehicle. But sometimes, I mean, in these uh, new vehicles nowadays, uh, they have like an automatic key or just a push of a button where you can just push it and drive, which is pretty cool. But for me, I'd rather have keys just to be on the safe side. So definitely keys and gas are the two most important things that you have to have. And then you also got to check your tires. Tires are very important on a car. Tires is what makes the car and vehicle drive basically a lot of times. Uh, so it's very important to make sure, especially in your tires, that you don't have rocks in them, that you don't have nails, you don't have screwdrivers, you don't have pins, wood, anything that prevents your tire from going, you got to check to make sure that your tire is good and in great shape. A tire rim, you have, tires are great, but without the tire rim, it won't it get you hardly anywhere. Tire rims is what keeps the uphold of a tire. So it's very important to have tire rims. Not only tire rims, but brakes. Brakes and brake pads is what you need uh, to stop when you're in a traffic stop or stop uh, when you're at a light or when you're at a sign that says stop or three-way whatever. Without brakes, you'll just keep on going. So brakes is very huge on a vehicle. And some other important things you need to know on a car is a motor. You have to have a motor in your vehicle. And you have to have an engine. Engine is one of the most expensive things in a vehicle. And if you don't keep that engine updated, oh my, you're talking about in the thousands, thousands of dollars for an engine. So an engine you've got to have in your vehicle. But some extra curricular things in the vehicle, just in case you didn't know, 
Uh, there is a wheel axle. Of course, you have to have a wheel in order to drive the vehicle. I, I can imagine a wheelless vehicle driving around. Uh, a wheel bearing. You got to have a wheel bearing in the vehicle. Uh, like I said, the axle. You definitely got to have an axle. And then you also just got to have a couple of other small things like a, like a spindle. A spindle is underneath, uh, is before the brake pads and underneath like the tire rim. A spindle uh, is what keeps the wheel spinning, like this tire rim and the wheel, of course. And then uh, you also got to have doors. It's important to have doors on your vehicles, of course, because you want to close doors and everything. Windows, you got to have windows on a in a vehicle. You got to have windshield wipers because you never know when it's going to rain or when it's going to snow. So you definitely got to have windshield wipers uh, when you have a vehicle. But what are some other vehicles that we can talk about? Well, uh, there's cars. Cars are basically like for people that just want to travel from point A to point B. Now, one of my favorite classic cars would be a Cadillac. Oh, you talk about classic. I remember when I was in Ohio, and I was uh, with one of my mom's friends, uh, husband. And this white Cadillac was beautiful. It had red attire in it, and oh my goodness. But the only thing it didn't have in the Cadillac was air. Which means, thank God it was summertime because we was burning up during the summer. So we definitely had to have air, but there was no air in it. And air conditioning is very important in a vehicle. Air conditioning and heat. Air you get to have during the summertime. Heat you get to have during the wintertime. Um, you can not have air and heat, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Because uh, that you'll be either burning up or you'll be freezing to death. And then the truck. Uh, a truck, trucks are great, but they're expensive on gas at times. You talk about maybe 80 to $90 a tank. Woo wee. I couldn't imagine having to save 80 and $90 almost every week just to fill up my truck. It's bad enough that you got to put thirty or forty dollars in it, but when you put eighty or ninety dollars in the tank for gas, ooh wee! I can only imagine. Because by the time uh, you put that in uh, for two weeks, that's like a hundred and eighty dollars almost in gas. Ooh, my goodness! But thank God for cars, because uh, cars take about maybe twenty to thirty dollars a, a tank. But also vans. Now, vans are for most likely families. Oh, don't get me wrong. Cars and trucks are for families also. But a van, especially if you're going to travel, like in a hotel or at a beach or in a mall or something like that, you've got to have a van. It's uh, for families. Uh, families at least of four or five. Because we know like families come to about like four or five people in it. Because you get the husband, the wife, and you get the kids. So that's like four or five people all together. But vans take about sixty to seventy dollars a tank in gas. Like I said, like not only that, but coal trucks, coal trucks and buses. Oh my goodness. Coal trucks, they gotta use diesel fuel. And the buses gotta use diesel fuel. I can only imagine how much it would cost if a vehicle of a coal truck or a school bus or a charter bus even cost if you had to fix it. I could not imagine that at all. But I will tell you this. I definitely thank God for like the vehicle that I have, uh, Dodge Avenger. I mean, it runs smooth. It's a sports car, and it's great on the road and everything. But... If you have a vehicle, you got to just pretty much just learn to take care of it. And it's like the Holy Bible. It's like your family, your friends. A vehicle you got to keep in top shape at all times. Can you imagine if you just let your vehicle just sit there, not ever fill up the gas tank, 
not ever uh, check tires, not ever check on your brakes and everything, chances are you probably won't get nowhere because the tires will end up going low. And chances are more likely uh, you probably won't get that far. But when you learn to keep your vehicle in top shape, hey, wonders can only work in that. Uh, some other vehicles that I like, I love Mustangs, and I love, uh, like I said, Dodge uh, Ventures especially. I love Nissans, Nissans, Cadillacs. Cadillacs, I'm a huge fan of Cadillacs. Uh, every time I look at car shows or see car shows online, I'm like amazed at how great they keep the vehicles and stuff in shape. But uh, Challengers, I also love Dodge Challengers. And then my favorite vehicle, if I had to pick overall, would be a van. Just because of my uh, size and length, I got to have some room and everything. But also, when you have a vehicle, you've got to have your license. Your driver's license is one of the most important things that you have to have. Why? Without a driver's license, you can't drive. Now, if you got a permit, uh, you can have just one person that has to be over 21 in there. But without a driver's license, you can't drive a vehicle whatsoever. If you get caught driving without a license, mm, I can only say that on that one. Not only your driver's license, but you got to have your vehicle registration and your vehicle tags. You got to make sure that your vehicle registration and tags is updated every year. Now, your vehicle registration and tags will fall uh, around your birthday. So let's just say your birthday was June the 7th. Well, you would have until like the June, the end of June to get your registration tags renewed. So you must have your registration and tags. Not only that, but you also got to have your vehicle insurance. Now, there's a lot of insur vehicles uh, that has insurance, but where can you get vehicle insurance from? You can get it from Progressive. You can get it from Allstate, from State Farm. Wherever uh, car insurance is located, you can get it from. But you have to have vehicle insurance. Why is that? Why do you have to have vehicle insurance? Because it protects you and it protects others. When you have vehicle insurance, you're guaranteed if something were to happen, your vehicle insurance provider will take care of it. And here's another thing. Uh, I just heard, like, Car Shield. Ice-T promotes uh, Car Shield all the time. And if your vehicle is messed up, but you don't have any money or anything to fix it, but if you know it's going to cost you thousands of dollars, why not try Car Shield? Car Shield, I guarantee you, will work when you try Car Shield. But like I said, the most important things in a vehicle, especially, is gas, your tires, your tire rims, the axle, the wheel, rotors. That's another big important thing is rotors. When your rotors mess up, you will hear your rotors literally every single time. And rotors, oh my goodness, rotors, oh, woo. The car, the vehicle rotors, woo-wee, they are a hot mess when they're tore up. But I love the uh, great tire rims, like especially the ones that spin real good. Because tire rims, they are what keeps the wheels going and what keeps the spin spindle going and what keeps the brakes Going, it would keep some, the brake pads going. So basically, you just need to keep your vehicle in top amount shape. But especially if you keep your, if you keep the gas going, if you keep your brakes going, if you keep your tires going, as long as you keep your vehicle in great shape, you will be just fine. But that will do it for this episode of the Top and Poncho's Palace. I'm very thankful, very blessed to be able to do this episode of the Top in Poncho's Palace. It has been a true honor 
Today, we're doing a talk of Pancho's Pals on vehicles. Just talk about some simple vehicles, just everyday talk. But for the next episode, in episode 14, it's going to be a great because we're going to talk about houses for episode 14 and why it's important to keep houses and apartments in shape. Uh, what's the right house and apartment for you? And how can you make sure that you pass inspection when your renters, when your owners come? But until then, we'll see you all next time and enjoy the rest of your day, you all.